Seven sports commentator John Rogers broke his reading glasses. It was an inconvenience he didn't need. When he went to the optometrist for a new pair, it was soon discovered by sheer accident that he had a life-threatening disease. Alison Fan reveals how your sight could be in danger and you'd never even know. My vision was perfect and it was quite a shock that within half an hour to be told your eye has to come out and it has to come out pretty quick. Melanoma has become the probably most common reason for people losing eyes now. But I had no symptoms, Alison. That's the scary part. It was, I was totally asymptomatic. Former Channel 7 sports commentator John Rogers is alive today because he broke his reading glasses. And it was a sheer accident. Had I not broken my glasses, I would not have gone to the optometrist and I'd have never found it. Eye specialists were also shocked. My oncologist said in the whole time that he's been practising, he has never, ever heard of this type of melanoma being picked up by accident. But West Perth ocularist Paul Geelan says in WA, melanoma has now taken over from car accidents as the major cause of eye loss. We'd probably make three or four artificial eyes a week and uh, it's probably one person a week will lose an eye for it through various reasons, through melanoma or assaults or car accidents. Brother and sister team Paul and Jenny Geelan are recognised worldwide as leading artificial eye specialists. Many of their patients flying in from overseas. We're the only ones in Perth. There's probably 10 of us in Australia and a few hundred internationally. Look closely at John's eyes today and you'd be hard pressed to pick the artificial one. We're the only people in the world that make custom made temporary eye prosthesis. Oh, okay. Okay. Now your beautiful Spanish green eyes, John, and uh, I've been told with that. lots of port red there too. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll have to make two, one for when I've been drinking wine and one for when I haven't been. Oh, I think we'll have to do that, yeah. So what we'll do, I've got the colour quite nice here, I uh, just need to put some veins on there now. The Geelands' unique practice a family affair. This is a family trade, so my mother was making artificial eyes in the 80s and she's taught me. I've taught my sister Jenny and my daughter Emily is now working with us as well. So we're a third generation family of ocularists. Well, what a finish, what a performance. You couldn't get any better anywhere. As a 1964 grand finalist footballer for Claremont and Channel 7 sports commentator for more than 20 years, covering football, America's Cup, and as the Wildcats courtside announcer, John Rogers says his good eye will always stay on the ball. Actually, this has been good from a golfing point of view. I've lost a shot off my handicap because if I take my, I'm, I'm left-handed, and if I take my eye off the ball, if I move my head, I can't see the golf ball. <laughs> so I think half of Karen are gonna walk around with a patch over their eyes <laughs> so that they keep their heads still over the ball. And while the jokes keep coming, John knows the eye melanoma he had is usually a quick death sentence. Oh, Alison, I have really, really dodged a bullet. Been very, very lucky. Very lucky. John Rogers with Alison Fan there.